it seems that a at least a small number of you would like to know what the hell you just watched. Whoop, there was a phone in there. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy crap. Oh, phone, you need to go live under the chair for a little while. Uh, anyway, when I'm not busy, you know, forgetting the work phone's up there and dropping it dangerously while driving. God, I can't believe I forgot that was there. <sighs> okay, uh, when I'm not doing that, um, I'm getting back into the video. It, how do you recover from something like what just happened? Jesus. Anyway, the video that you watched uh, about uh, the unsubscribe-a-thon, sometimes I get creative, and sometimes that creativity is a little weird. I, I can be kind of weird, like I say in the description, but nobody actually saw because no one ever reads the description. I blame it on the autism. So sometimes I just feel like being a little creative. <clears throat> There's your cough. And yesterday, as I was just driving around in the boonies of Chatham County, North Carolina, where there's like nothing, I figured, you know, I haven't really made much content lately, and I've uh, I had a couple people that, more than one at least, that left some dumb comment about like they were gonna unsubscribe, or well, time to leave this channel. And you know what? I fully support that. I think that if people want to leave, that's a good thing because that means they weren't my audience in the first place. So bye bye. Do not allow door to hit the butt on the way out. No, but seriously, I, I you're not hurting my feelings if you bail. But it does annoy me just a little bit when people feel the need to announce that they're leaving. Like, bro, just get the fuck out. Don't tell me about it. No one cares that you're leaving. Just walk out. You, you can just not participate. But if you're announcing that you're leaving, with no other information especially, it doesn't help anyone. It's useless. I can say, look, I've been subscribed for a long time and I'm unsubscribing because your content has changed and I don't like it anymore. This is what I liked and what you're doing now isn't that. So I'm leaving and I wanted to let you know. Have a good one. <clears throat> if you do that, that's fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But, <clears throat> if you if you just go, oh, time to leave. Oh, unsubscribing. You suck. It doesn't tell me why you're leaving, so I don't even know what the point is. But enough about that. Because this isn't about the thing that inspired me to do that. Uh, this is about that. So I was thinking about these people that unsubscribe, and if you've been around for a while and you've read the things that I've replied to various people, you know that when someone says they're going to unsubscribe or they're leaving or pretty much anything trying to say, like, you're going to have less people watching your videos, um, my reaction tends to be, good, get out. No one wants you here if you don't want to be here. Leave. Goodbye. See ya! Won't miss ya! Because if you feel the need to announce without any information, then you're probably just doing it to be a douche. Let's just be honest. You're not doing it because you genuinely care or anything like that. You're just doing it because you want to take a chunk out of the person on the way out the door. So my attitude has always been that if anybody wants to unsubscribe, they should. And when people unsubscribe, it's a good thing because I'm cultivating an audience. And they're not in that audience. They are not interested in what I make. And I'm not going to make stuff for people that I don't really care about. So I decided, why not do a combination of things? Why don't we troll all the people that just unsubscribe on the flimsiest whim by making a video that's nothing but way too damn loud, cranked up, Japanese punk rock, which, I mean, in America, it's a niche. It's it's not the kind of music that a lot of people want to hear. Even people who like American punk rock or British punk rock, you know, punk rock in English, even people who like punk rock from the 70s, they're probably a lot less likely to want to hear Japanese punk rock. <clears throat> and doubly so with loud, screaming female vocalists. 
because people just be that way. So play something that I actually like quite a bit, but that a lot of people probably don't care about. That'll get them to unsubscribe. Oh yeah, by the way, what kind of content are you putting out? Oh, let's do a driving video. Just, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can film it so I have some nice video of the countryside. Of that, I don't go to that part where I was driving around very often. So let's film it and dual purpose, let's make it a video, like a real video. No, no, we won't talk. No, we won't edit it. No, no, we won't. We, we're, it's just going to be a driving video. And that's how the whole thing started. People, the people want to take a chunk out of me, but my answer to them is this. So, that's the way I handle it. So why not give them a good reason to unsubscribe? If you're going to unsubscribe, I want you to go out in flames. I want you to explode. I want it to be a thing where you don't just unsubscribe. <clears throat> you like, you like Katy Perry's tits in that, that music video, Firework. You know, that's how you need to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe like Katy Perry's breasts. That's your homework for the day. So anyway, in an effort to help these redundant... Um, disinterested, casual subscribers find somewhere else to go and not leave dumbass comments on my videos and just, just generally get rid of them but have a whole lot of fun doing it, I recorded a drive. whoop de doo a drive. And that's what I did. I got, I got home, I dumped it to the computer. Next day, throw it in a timeline and I'm like, I'll just like slap a little bit of text on top and we'll just put this out and... It'll just, it'll be like, this is the unsubscribe-a-thon. And people will be like, oh, hey, this is different. This looks different. I wonder, I wonder what he's doing. This must be, this, this has got to be good. And the idea, the original idea was to just be a driving video all the way through to the end. Kind of like Desert Bus, that, that uh, what was it, a Genesis game? Sega CD, Penn and Teller, Desert Bus, where you just drive a bus and it does nothing else. Nothing else happens the whole time. And it's long and boring and blah, blah, blah. But then with the grating music on top to make it even more annoying. And then splash unsubscribe all over it to further encourage them. But it was just gonna be that. It was gonna be boring. And, you know, boring gets the job done. It gets people to go away. The problem is then I started to get more ideas. And so rather than just being 30 minutes of me driving after saying unsubscribe and it just saying unsubscribe and that's basically it, I started throwing a few extra little things in there. Little miniature memories from driving from A to B. Like that truck that wouldn't get the fuck out from in front of me. That was kind of annoying. So, I uh, mentioned it. And how prophetic is it that a punk song just starts going the second I start going around that truck? Like, yeah, let's go. Like, it's like that bluegrass thing where they're chasing you down with pitchforks. What was it? Family Guy, I think, did a parody, a parody of that where they're like being chased by a bunch of crazy country people with pitchforks or Amish people or something. And then they're like, well, if you would just turn off that bluegrass music, then they would stop. And he turns off the radio and they go, aw, and go the other way. But I had all these little memories, and, and as I kept going, um, more things flowed to mind, like the Clarissa, Clarissa Explains How to Unsubscribe came to mind. So I thought I'd throw that in there somewhere. Well, then, um, <clears throat> and I might be showing how much of a tween girl I really am with this, but then I realized, well, wait a minute, you know, Clarissa, I, I actually watched that on Nickelodeon when I was a kid. Clarissa was a big thing in the 90s, and I had watched it, and I just happened to have downloaded a whole bunch of those shows that I watched when I was younger. Um, I, I had downloaded and archived copies of them because it's actually not easy to find them um, thanks to YouTube's crackdowns on copyrights. and You know, big companies would rather you not have access to anything than them um, let it be out there for free. They'd rather take it away from you and never release it for pay. For like You'll be waving money in their fucking faces and they won't release it because 
they have the rights, and to retain the rights, they have to not just be giving it away for free because then they basically give up their copyright. Um, it's sort of a de facto thing. It, it doesn't, it, it's not strictly that they give up their copyright, but because they are just giving it away for free and anybody can have it, it's hard for them to argue that you need to pay for it. So companies will lock their stuff up. They will lock all of their media, all the stuff from your childhood behind not even a paywall, but just a giant nothing. They'll just, they'll just do nothing. This, hang on just a second. I got a driving situation. Homie's got a boat. Homie's got a boat, and I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, so I had an archived copy of every episode of Clarissa Explains It All. There actually aren't that many, it turns out. And I figured if I poked around long enough, maybe I could find a couple clips from Clarissa Explains It All that would be pretty funny to throw in there. Surely, at some point, the girl sits in front of a computer. And this is the unsubscribe-a-thon. So why don't we have Clarissa unsubscribe, you know? And while I was looking for Clarissa touching a computer, I ran into that bit where in the beginning of one episode, she talks about really briefly about the evolution of humans and, you know, the, the, the next step was Homo erectus. And I'm like, that sounds like erection, you know? And we, we can just throw that in there just to be random. Just some, some random meme humor. The next step was Homo erectus. I mean, it's both Homo and erection. So we got we got all the fun, right? All the really uh, barely edgy '90s, like middle schooler insults, just flowing forward. And uh, from that and the computer, the thing where I say, you know, pitch shifted. I don't know why I'm subscribed to this guy. All he does is make jokes about his penis all the time. It just it just naturally evolved. And a lot of the stuff that I threw out there was kind of random. I basically just scrolled through the video of me just driving and these random ideas would appear in my brain. <clears throat> what can I put here? What can I put there? And and it just it it it's hard to do that kind of thing on demand. Sometimes you sit down in front of something and you know, you aim to be creative and nothing comes to your head. You're just like stuck. There's there's nothing flowing forth. You get no ideas. There's nothing interesting going on. Um, when I sat down to edit this, my problem was that things wouldn't stop coming. That it was an onslaught of ideas. And that's why you got the really weird combination of just driving along with these little tidbits and that's also I knew that a lot of people would rather not watch the driving stuff like a lot of you are really wonderful because you've chosen to stay subscribed despite me doing weird shit sometimes or maybe because I do weird shit sometimes ideally but I respect you a little too much people who won't unsubscribe damn it I respect you too much to force you to watch that more than once. So that's why you notice a few hours after I released that uh, trolley driving video with some tidbits thrown in, I released a cut of just the tidbits. And that that's it. Just <laughs> now you know the story <laughs> of where that weird shit came from. Now, like, how did that happen? What What is this train wreck? There's not some sort of, like... I didn't write some sort of detailed, complicated storyline. It was literally just, hey, let's throw all this crap in a blender on top of let's screw with the people who feel the need to announce that they're leaving on the way out. Nah. So I think it served its purpose. And I got to be honest, stuff like that, I really don't. I actually don't tend to make it to, in, to entertain other people so much as entertain myself because I thought, it was funny, basically. The the first thing was funny. The whole, like, let's do an unsubscribe-a-thon. Let's actively encourage people to unsubscribe and make some big video to do it. And then the big video is a big disappointment, giving them a wonderful reason to get the fuck out. That was just funny to me. But it just kept coming. I, I especially enjoyed the Clarissa bit. Now, <clears throat> one more thing. The ending. The ending where there's a car crash. 
There are two car crash sounds from freesound.org, a public domain slash creative commons sound effect source, which I highly recommend to anyone who needs sound effects for anything. Go to freesound.org, and if you search for a CC0 license, those are public domain. You don't even have to give credit. You can just use them with reckless abandon. And if they're creative commons, you have to give credit, but uh, I tend to stick to public domain. <coughs> uh, free advertisement for free sound over. But there's two car crash um, uh, recordings. I don't remember which one they are. If you really want to know, shoot me an email at jody at jodybruchon.com and I will tell you exactly which ones they were. Um, but the third sound that I used is actually from a video when I bought this car. And this window exploded 200 miles into the 1200 mile drive home. I was just driving down the freeway and a truck was going and we were in a construction area and there was sand on the road. I've never seen sand on the road in a construction area. Like beach sand or something is ridiculous. But I'm guessing a grain of that sand was just the right shape and, and flew off the rig and hit my window at just the right angle and velocity and so on to break the tempered glass and phew, it was gone. So yeah, that's that's how I learned that tempered glass explodes when something hits it. Um, I've seen tempered glass break when it's stationary, but imagine it at 70 miles an hour and yeah, it was scary. And, and that was my genuine, that was actually the sound of this window breaking and me going, oh fuck. <clears throat> because you, you cannot appreciate how incredibly loud this braking is. Oh my god, it's so just indescribable right here. Just three by your ear and it goes boom. So yeah, my new car was new for 200 miles. I didn't even get it home. And it's got a few scratches on the side from the glass. It's got scratches here on the plastic. It's got some glass bits rattling around in the door when I shut it, but you know what? I don't care. I didn't buy the car to be a Lamborghini to show off and get all the chicks to, to milk my genitalia. I bought the car to go from A to B and tell people why I'm so internet autistic and why Windows 11 makes my uh, urinations burn and blood come out. Oh, good old rhabdomyolysis, baby. Anyway. So I think that's enough backstory. I thought you all would probably appreciate a real explanation instead of just me joking in the comments. Also to those that asked, yes, yes, it is a joke. The whole thing's a joke. A lot of the things that I do are jokes. You have found the joke. It is funny. Ha ha ha. Ha. It was a joke. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm just going to turn the camera off. Good night. More erectus. More erectus. More erectus. More erectus. More erectus.